Oh, hello everybody, and welcome back once again to Running Red, the Hardcore Questing mod. Now, the, at the last time, let's have a look at the quest book again. I haven't actually opened that today. Let's go back. Uh, click here to start. Let's go to Our Lady of Sorrows, because I've been busy. Try again. I have to click at the top. Open that. So I've got this quest, this repeatable quest, where I've killed all of these. Let's claim the reward. And have a look at the. Now let's go back to where we were. So we're doing skylines and turnstiles. Now we've got three quests available for completion. And the one we've. is this one, Burn in Hell. Black as my soul. What I had to do was to make 10 obsidian, which I've done. So the next one is. I've got to go to here. And of course, I'm in the wrong dimension. And. Oh, I know this is nether, but in hell. So we've got to go to there. We will get a gas tier and a safari net single use as a reward. Now this is a very long quest because you basically what you've got to do is you've got to get enough materials ready to do the trip. So the first thing we've got to do is to build a. Um, what have we got to build first of all? We've got to build a portal. Oh, what have I got here? Two safari nets. Wow, that's interesting. I've not seen that before. Let's have a look. What do we have? Wolf and heat scar spider. I'm not sure what I need a heat scar spider for, but it might be useful. Let's just put those two in this chest over here. I've got an empty chest from before. And I've also got some other. I've been busy killing mobs. And what we shall do is we shall put this helmet in here. Now, what my plans are for today is to actually do several things. So let's get on and do the first one. Oops. Just fall into my lava pool when there's lava in it. So the thing I wanted to do was to make some more runes. Now what I wanted to do is to make some sacrificial runes of sacrifice. And those are made out of a stone and gold ingots. And I need to make four of these. So let's just do, let's put it, do it like that, four. I also need this. And, oh yes, that's a problem. I haven't done that yet, have I? Let's have a look. What do I need to do for that one? An apprentice blood orb. An apprentice blood orb is one emerald in a tier 2 altar with 5000 LP. That's actually not such a problem. So first of all we have to make the emerald. So that is, and I got prepared today, look, 10 buckets of blood. And an emerald is, let's get these out of the way, because we do need these later on. It's one diamond, surrounded by 8 buckets of blood. You'll notice that in this case they actually stack, but that's just a coincidence. So we need a tier 2 altar with 5,000 LP. Here I've got 6,000. So let's simply put the emerald into that and let it do its work. I think that'll... Yes. So out of that we should get an apprentice blood orb. The next thing I wanted to do was to make a hopper. Not a hopper, a vacuum chest. Now, a vacuum hopper is what I wanted to make, yes. So I need one in the pearl, one hopper, and one obsidian. That's fairly straightforward. I've got an ender pearl, I've got a hopper, and I've got one obsidian. Two. Now I've got a vacuum. But what I'll also do is make a chest to put on the edge of the vacuum, uh, the hopper. And it would also be sensible to make a... What's going on there? Have I got something in the way? Oh, yes, I have doing that, haven't I? Let's make some of these. A tank. Portable tank. And here we have our blood orb. So, our apprentice blood orb. Now, that's currently not owned by anybody. I need to own it, so let's do that. Right click on it and then let's go and take this 
over here. On and here I put another hopper. And what I'm going to do is to take this blood orb here and put it into the middle of here. Put that one out. And then we'll put that back in. So now this is gaining LP. I think it should be gaining LP. Ah, maybe it only works if I've got a tier 2 altar. Right, okay. So we need to do that. We need to make, upgrade this one to a tier 2 altar. So this is what I'm trying to do. So I wanted to make, first of all, a vacuum chest, which I've done, a chest, and... Oh, I should have put it up, shouldn't I? Let's grind a few of these mobs in the process. What I want to do with that is I want to put it here. I wonder if I can put it straight here. I want it in the middle. Uh, no, I can't put it there directly. Let's try something else. There's a try again. Let's put a piece of wood. Here. Oops. Oh, I'm so careless. Try again. Yes, I've got three pieces of rotting flesh. It's already picking up the rotting flesh. That's great. Can I simply break that down? Probably better to have a pickaxe, wouldn't it? Try again. Right. So maybe I want it simply put... It, ah, see. Let's just put it there. Good. Now, let's put on the back of, on the back of this a chest. I got a chest prepared. Now, what we have to then do is to configure. I want to put on the other side of it. I want to put the portable tank. Now, the portable tank is there to collect. Oh, maybe that won't work. Maybe we have to be smarter than that with the portable tank. Let's just do. Put the portable tank on the ground and put a, a pipe to it. So shift click, it'll have gone into the hopper, which it has. And let's put that on the ground. Let's put one pipe here. Right, good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the plank, yes, good. So now we click the hopper and uh, we'll say, right, the item duct I think is this side. Let's have a look. Yes. So everything now should be going into this chest. Ah, and the chest is too high because of how well done. So I have to make some item ducting. Or oh, maybe I can do something else. Where's he gone to? Be back in here, won't it? Yes. What happens if I put it below? Can I then open it? Yes, I can. Good. Oh. Yes, I can. Now, can I make the item hopper connect to the bottom? If I right click, if I hold the right click and then do that. Uh, no, it's not working. Never mind. It was a good idea. I'll leave it like that for the time being. But I want the XP to come out of this side, I think. Uh-oh. Nope, not quite right. Let's go try again. I don't know which side it is now. That side. Turn that one off. So with a bit of that, when I kill mobs, the XP will be collected here and will go in here. I'm not sure what I have to do to get this to go into the, into the vacuum hopper. I'll think about that. So we kill a few more mobs. Now there is a spider running around up there. I wonder if I can get it. If I could get it, it'd be good because it's the only way we can get spiders. Where is it? There. Uh huh. We can see where he is now. Come around this side. Out to the bat. 
Hmm. Maybe it's not possible from here. Never mind. So look at this. Oh. Ah, it is working eventually. Great. That means I can get rid of this stuff that I don't want on me at the moment. I'll center middle click that and see what else is there that belongs to mobs. These iron the great. So that was one part of my work that I wanted to do today. That seems to be working. So the next thing was to make some ruins, wasn't it? Now to make these ruins I wanted to make normal runes, I want to make four normal runes, blood runes and I want to make four sacrificial runes now that I've got this orb I can do that so we need one orb, two gold, let's do it like this actually put four in there oops try again we need stone this is reinforced slate, and reinforced slate we make in the um, in the tier two altar just by with two thousand LP for each one. So I had to do a lot of killing. In the meantime, I've been making stone, so we need to make. Oh, let's take out sixteen of here. Might be enough. And this will carry on making more stone as to fill in those gaps. Ah, we need to do it like this, didn't we? I can't do this normally because this... Well, when I say normally, what I mean is I can't do this using um, shift clicking because it won't work because of the orb. So this time we need a weak blood orb and, s and lots of slates. So that's not stone. So we need the 4, 6, 24 stone which I can go and get over here. I should have got those first of all, shouldn't I? Take half a stack. And we need... That's a lot easier. And I have to use a, a weak blood orb, which of course is probably in the other... in here. You see the... the the, the ordinary hopper catches as well, the, the items. So what I'm going to do is take this one out and finish off making these runes. In fact, I'll leave that in there. Right, now I've got four blood runes. So now I'm going to upgrade this altar to a tier 2 altar. And the way I do that is I'm going to chop down this wood here. Axe is the best way. We need eight of those. So what we do is we put these on the corners. Um, because they only work on the middle. Oops. Let's make sure we've got a light here somewhere. There we go. So the only ones that work will be in the middle, so I need to put that back again. So I can have the runes there. It will work with a tier 3, but we're not ready to do a tier 3 yet, obviously. So and let's do this side as well. Oops, I think I'm hitting the wrong thing there. Yes, I was. Maybe that's not so easy to reach. Let's just do that one and that one, that one. I want to put this here, but the, the hop is in the way. Well, I can always do that from below. Let's go and do that from below. I should jump down here and take a bit of damage. And you'll see what it looks like now from below. Oh, interesting. You can see the uh, the mobs. I 
Now, when we go and have a look at this again, with the div divination signal, a signal, we should tell it. It should tell us now it's a tier two. And you see, it's now tier two, and the blood orb is actually working. The reason I've done that here is now I can, when I do a sacrifice, I'm getting a lot more blood in the altar than I was doing before. I'm quite hungry. I better do some eating as well. One more mob over here. I just can't reach that, sp that spider if it's still there. I'll just try anyway. You never know, you might get lucky. Right, back to the quest at hand. The last thing I had to do was to make 10 obsidian and go to a place. So obviously we've got to go to another, so we've got to make another portal. So we also need to flint and the steel to ignite the nether portal. So what do we need to do that? Let's have a quick look. So I need flint. That's gravel. So how do I make gravel? Gravel. And the recipe for gravel is, we can't do that. It was in gum, I think it's gunpowder and smooth stone will give me two gravel in the chemi alchemy chemistry step with a ah, blood orb two, which is great because I did already did that. Let's take, let me just check in the hopper. I'll put in this blood orb in here and take this one out. that we put into that here. So we need some smooth stone and some gunpowder. And I don't think it actually matters where you put it, just as long as they're in. And then we shall get us out of this two gravel. Let's take the two gravel out. And we'll make some more gravel in the meantime. So all we're gonna do now is just to place the two gravel down and bash them. And uh, keep doing that till we get a flint out of it. And I think I've just got a flint. No, I didn't get a flint. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's one flint. Now, the recipe flint is actually also similar. What we can do is we can go to the, since we've got one, let's take this out of here and let's have a look at the recipe for flint. So we can do it by gunpowder in the enrichment chamber, which we don't have yet, but we will have actually purification chamber, or we can use gravel and a flint will make two flints. So since we now got plenty of gravel, we can do that in here and we'll get some more flints. So we'll double our flints. Are we getting plenty of gunpowder from creepers? Let's have a look at this now. Got four flints, which is a lot more than I need for now. Let's put that back. I need one, don't I? And one piece of iron. Let's just sort this out again. Always need sorting. You see, I've got quite a lot of metal now, uh, different metals, Aubrey's anyway. So, let's make a flint and steel. I'm not sure I can remember the recipe for this. I think it's diagonal, isn't it? Yeah, here we go, one flint and steel. So we'll take, uh, right, let's go and build our portal. I'm not going to go and build it too far away, because if you do, you get another one coming, you come back again. So what we need is one stone there and a th I think it's two oak brought across, isn't it? It's been a long time since I built another portal, to be honest with you. Let's do it this way. So it's three up. Right. Then we want a stone. Then I have to jump down. That's it, good. 
So we can then put the other obsidian here to come over and put another stone like it nice and regular. And then we need our three remaining ones. And we shall now light it. If I can. There we go. One nether portal. Now I know from my previous world this is actually very, very dangerous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some fen stone fences, smooth stone fences and some smooth stone slabs. And I'm going to build lots. Because we're going to need lots to do this. So I've got still got some mobs droppings in here. And the other thing I want to do today is to build a, an enchantment table. So let's go and do that. In fact, I need to make sure I've got plenty of iron. I've got plenty of iron, but I'm going to make some more iron. Oh, wrong one. Let's shove the iron into, or bris into here, and make sure that this, we've got plenty of LP, yes, we got 16,000 LP in our network from this apprentice blood orb. And that should easily be allowed to cook those up. So, oh, sorry, enchantment table. Let's have a look what we need for an enchantment table. So, we need one book, two diamonds, which we've got, four obsidian, which is we've got. So, the book. I shall do this recipe because I haven't got leather yet. And paper. Now, paper is made from sugar cane. Now, sugar cane is made from one iron ingot, one seed, and one bucket of life. That we can do. In fact, I've already done it. So let's go and get it. And well, we need. I think it's recipes like this, isn't it? For these two. That's what I need for that. I've got a piece of string still. In fact, I should make some more string. Let's get on with that while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, I'll forget. In fact, let's put it in here. That silkworm. And it can work away while we're doing other stuff. Close that. And this is why I had this chest, is to take this smooth stone and out of here so I don't have to carry it around with me all the time and also I should go up here and you can see I actually already bit got some uh, sugar cane planted it and it's already grown up so now I just need to do a bit of harvesting on that Gonna get those. I should have now enough for six. Plenty. And now I've got a cow and quite a few pigs and one sheep. Have I got some shears with me? No. No shears today. And if we go back again. I was extending this out a bit, I haven't done very much. That was six laps. The reason I'm going to build an enchanting table is I've got quite a lot of XP from the um, oh, sorry, let me just do this from killing these mobs. So I don't, don't want I wanted two diamonds, didn't I? I think one piece of string. Enchantment table. I need the book. This is the recipe I'm using. Oh, what did I do with my string? Oops. That's careless, isn't it? I need this paper first. What did I do with that piece of string? Did I put it over here? Yes, I did. 
That must be why. Right, a book. Four pieces of obsidian, two diamonds. That should be enough to make an enchanting table. And here I should be able to shift click. Uh, uh, what have we got? There we go, one enchantment table. Now I can also do things like turn this into an auto enchanting table with three redstone and five in, in um, iron ingots. That was thinking of then, five iron ingots. Maybe that one doesn't stack. And three redstone. Fantastic, look at that. Now what we can also do is we can connect a portable tank. I've just not got quite enough there, let's just make some more. portable tank and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down I should probably should use the open block tanks I think here's a good place and I'm going to connect it using the this one and I think all I need to do is to put the portable tank on top of that and then I need a redstone signal, which I haven't thought about. So put a block of wood there. In fact, not the right place. We just need a simple lever and a, a lever. Have I got? Oh, I don't. Actually, let's put this wood away as well. I don't need that in here. So a lever is one cobblestone, and I do have cobblestone, good. One lever. Leave that there. Try to remember I put it there. And we just put this on, the lever on here. And I think we have to simply say on here, to make this an output tank, first of all. Ah, oh, I don't know what I'm thinking about, really. I've got to get blood into it. that would pump it in but I need to get blood into here sorry XP into here which is where I can use an open gates and open blocks um, what's it called an open blocks drain an XP drain there we go and all that is is iron bars which is six iron ingots in two rows we got 16 we only need nine so I'll use that like that but you actually have recipes for this it gets used quite a lot and also what I should do is to put in an open blocks tank and that's this recipe here so I need four obsidian and five glass panes and that will give me two open block tanks so the glass planes we need uh, some glass which I haven't got but I've got plenty of sand so let's do that I shall take this out of there because I need this first don't I I'm not sure how many I need let's have a look I've forgotten the recipe for the for the pain I think it's uh, six I need Okay, quickly go and make, I've got four, five, that'll make six. If I wanted to do automation, I could put some hot, another hopper on top of that, couldn't I? In fact, let's do that actually, make another hopper. They're always useful in this game at the moment. I'm really surprised. When I was doing Infinity World, I didn't see any use of them at all, hardly. But in this one, they're really useful. Right, let's put this up on top of here. And then I can feed into that these Aubreys. And what will happen is, 
They won't come out, but they will go in. Unless I can... There's no configuration on this, so I've had it. Where did that come from? So... I was making some paints, wasn't I? Glass paint, 16. And I wanted those for the open block tanks. And I need four more obsidian. So I've got a bucket. I would only want one bucket here. Otherwise you'll, you have a lot of problems. So, right, there we go. Let's convert this now to obsidian. And put into here that's probably best if I stand like this. Lava, bucket, bucket, lava, bucket, bucket. Do this four times. And I think I probably got three as soon as this goes off. Put that onto that one. Right, I've got my four obsidian. I might need to do one more. Lava, let's just make sure. Yes, you got five obsidian. Actually, I'll leave that one obsidian in here just to fill in a hole, as it were. Right, open blocks, thanks. I'm on two, aren't I? So, what I needed now were these four obsidians in the corners to make two tanks. Got one drain, don't need these iron bars in here. Uh, so, say so a lot I noticed when I was watching my videos, didn't mean to. So what we can do is we can connect all of these together. So what if I do this, if I cut this one off to here and here, and then put into here the, the two tanks, and on this tank here the drain, and then just walk on the drain, and it should, yes, take my XP, and we can get it to feed it into here. So this is where it's going to drink from. So we need to auto drink from the bottom. So let's click that side there. Uh, sometimes if I don't auto drink, and you see this is now filling up. Of course I need some more books, don't I, for this. Uh, what did I need? String for the books. Uh, one thing I was short of a string. Let's go and get... S now these two trees are just about ready. Let me get my crook and get some string. I'm to string now. So. I still need a book, so I don't need these panes, they can go over here. Of course this chest is now full. And I've got another silkworm, which I can put in over here. In fact, I'll get rid of this wheat, I don't need that with me. So I do need some more paper, I've got plenty of paper. I will have plenty of paper. What else do I need? Wooden sticks and wooden slabs, so wooden blocks. We've got plenty of wood, let's just do it like this. Sixteen is probably a good number. Except for I can't make sixteen. Five. No more sticks on me, no. Let's try again. Six. That'll be three books worth. I've only got paper for one, so not much point in doing too much more. So what did I need for book? Actually, I don't know why I'm doing a book. I was going to enchant a book. That was the intention of this, wasn't it? Ah, oh, wrong book. Okay, and I will need them anyway for later on. So one book. Okay, so what I needed to do was to make another iron sword. And I want to enchant 
an iron sword, I think. And using a new one is a good idea. I'll, later on I'll be doing gold, but for the time being I'm going to auto-enchant this one. But I need lots of bookshelves. So what if we put the iron sword in here? What can we do? What's its maximum? 30. It won't give me 30. 12. I got wrong here. That's auto eject, auto extract. Nope, I don't need auto extract, I just need it to work. What have I done wrong? I thought it was to do with that. Oh, here we go. Knock back one and. Um well, I suppose that's. That'll be quite useful in the. In arthropods, that's the one that kills the spiders. Okay, I think I could do better than one, but I'm not sure what it is. I should have a standard en uh, enchantment table that would tell me then. But I don't want to make another one of those now. What I do want to do is to make lots of slabs. Lots of, lots of, lots of stone there, and I think this is still making lots of smooth stone, which it is. Right, I'm going to go simply make lots of slabs now. Because we're going to have to travel a long way. In fact, it's probably a good start to go and actually go and have a look and see what we've actually got to do. That's plenty of slabs. The other thing I want to do is make stone fences. I think I'm not sure if I can make a stone fence. Let me just have a look what we're going to do for fences. I can type fence, which I can't. Let's see. E. Now, do we have a stone fence here? Do you know? Isn't that strange? Let's try stone. Oh, yes, here we go. Stone brick wall. So I just need. What's this one here? Stone post. Oh, interesting. But I did a stone brick wall, which is very easy to do. Let's take this one here, make some stone bricks. And I've got some stone brick walls. And the idea with those is that they. Um, will protect you from the side when you go to the nether. What I'm going to do is take these as well and I'm going to put away everything that's not essential for this particular journey. So I don't want that and I've got no more space so I'm going to have to make another chest or upgrade one of these other chests. So let's just make another chest for the time being. Let's make two actually because I've got a lot of stuff in here. I don't know where to put anything at the moment. That was clever, wasn't it? Okay, I shall have to leave. Where am I going to put it? Ah, oh, sorry. I can leave that in the crafting table, can't I? So let's just put two chests down. Here, I think, will be fine. Actually, I'll put it and here and then let's get rid of the stuff that I don't want. I do need these slabs but I don't need all of them to start with. Uh, stone I won't be needing. Book I won't need. Watering can I don't need. Well, torches I will need probably. So what I'm going to do is to boost slabs on the bottom half of the... I won't need that. I will need a pickaxe. I won't need an axe. I'm taking my vine scaffold thing because I want to get to the top of the apple food, plenty of food. One nut chapel just in case case. And I think that will be 
all I need for the first trip. Let's put this over here as well. Right. Here I go. Right, I have a little platform to start with, but not a very big one. So what I want to do now, of course, is to straight away put down on here, on the bottom half of these blocks, some slabs. And that I'm going to do very carefully. And the same again here. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go and put on top, on the top of this, some half slabs as well. That's why I brought these along. A little weird, don't they? Right, some half slabs are here. And the idea is that mobs won't spawn on the top of the Right. What I didn't do is I forgot my quest book. Clever. I'm probably going to go through this and do the same on the other side as well. I do want a quest book, and the reason I want the quest book is because I want to get the, the positioning proper, correctly noted. Here we go again. This time I'll turn around. Go out this time. If I'm going to, there we go. And I'll do the same on this side as well. In fact, the Nether in this one, this particular world, is is rather horrible. <laughs> I've got killed here every single time I've been here in my test or play when I first played this. It was. Uh, Dreadful. What but I didn't do at the time was I didn't build a platform like this with these half blocks. So what we're now going to do, I said so again, didn't I, is to look at the quest book here and visit it. Oh, okay. House of Hades. This is where I've got to go to. So let me get myself a piece of paper and write down these coordinates on the map so we need so the x is 290 the y is 62 and the z is 378 so what we'll now do we'll press m for map and we'll add a new quest option so I'll right click here so the marker name is is Hades isn't it that'll do anyway group is quests and we shall put down the coordinates so that was was that minus 290 I think it might have been 62 so we've got to go down which is always hard and 378 and there it is so red's an appropriate color for Hades and the biome is hell let me just check that back again on the um, on the quest book. Uh, it's 290, not minus 290. So I've got to right. That's a good example. Now I've got to edit this map marker. So I press M for map. I come, I select this one here, and then I right click and I can edit it. So Hades quest, and it was 290, not minus 290. 62, 378. So it's here. And that's where I've got to go to. So that, in that case, is over there, which is about right. So what I'm now going to do is to put down lots. I'm going to do lots of building, and I'm going to use stone walls because there's a chance of getting hit by either fire bats or by um, quite um, what are they called? Ah, oh, I forgot what they're called. Those big square ones. Okay, until then, bye for now.